this video, we are going to learn how to solve integration by use substitution in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice question with cards to FS and our AS plus calculator. Now, after going through this video, you'll be able to solve problems involving integration by use substitution with the cards calculator. Easy this so ensure you stay with me till the end of this video. Okay, so let's get a card seal calculator and solve these examples I have here. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to play a calculator. Very, very important. The essence of applying the calculator is to wipe out whatever previous values or calculations you might have computed with the calculator. So to play a calculator, you simply press shift button 9, follow the instruction, want to clear or uh, press clear, then press record, then press record again. Now the calculator is cleared. Okay, I've been done this. Now note that the idea behind integration with the cash calculator is to evaluate or simplify your question and then differentiate the options. Okay, so right now, having cleared the calculator, we're going to store a value in the calculator, which I always recommend to. Now I can work with any other value, but I recommend to because personally I worked with two for a long time and I have not found any error with it. So to start to in the calculator, you press the number first, then press shift. Look at this button, which I will say stands for store. You press the button, then press the alphabet. Look at X here. So once you do it, indicate here that the value 2 have installed in the calculator. So after doing this, the next thing you have to do is to put your calculator in radius mode. Very, very important, guys. To ensure your calculator is in radius mode so that you will not end up getting the wrong values. So to put your calculator in radius mode, simply press this button, shift mode. Now, let's wait this option for them first for so it's now in reduced mode. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the last point in the process of showing you how to do it with a calculator. But for now, let's go back to what I said earlier. So the idea behind soft integration, you substitution the castle calculator is first of all you simplify your question with your stored value. So to simplify this question, we're asked to evaluate the indefinite integral function of this radical square root of 3x plus 5 ds. So this ds is not part of the question. What that ds stands for there is is function. So the ds will make you to pronounce function while interpreting the question. So let's go ahead and simplify that question. So we have square root of 3x to bring out the x is to press alpha x alpha x plus 5 plus 5 okay so that's what we have it there the d is not part of the question what is stands for there is function let's press record and see what it will give us so we have with 11 let's change this to a decimal number okay so with 11 it's something as 3.316 so let's right now to get your answer, now take notes of this, very, very important. To get your answer, you do not simplify the option. What you do here is to differentiate the options. Guys, take notes of this very point. When you want to check your answer, you differentiate the options. If you do any other thing apart from differentiation, you end up having the wrong value. So I've been known that. Let's go ahead and differentiate the option. To differentiate, you simply press shift button. This button has integral sign on it. When you press it, the Differentiation symbol comma d by dx. So let's differentiate option A. So is in fraction. So we have fraction. The option started with fraction rather. So we have 2 over 7. All right. Okay. We have bracket 3x. So you put your 3x alpha x. Okay. Plus 5. Plus 5. So close the bracket. Now, guys, this is the last point you have to take note of ensure your brackets are balanced as you can see we have two brackets at the right hand side we also have two brackets at the left hand side so if your brackets are not balanced you end up having the wrong value but that point you punch your board to so ensure your brackets are balanced very very important so we have ways to the power so you make use of this power function then this function to go over is it yeah okay we have it to be Take over two. Okay, so that's the option for A. So you go by and put the value stored two. 
All right, so let's press record and see what we have now. 4.26. No, that wasn't the value we got. So let's check option B. Option B says none. So let's check option C. Option C is similar to option B, but the difference is that here is over seven. Here is over nine. So let's simply go back and make the necessary adjustment in the options. So remove the seven here and put nine. That's the only difference in between option A and option C. All right. So let's press the corner. See what we have. 3.31 guys this is our answer so this was the exact value we got when we simplified or uh, evaluated the question so guys this option this option c is the answer so this is the idea behind you substitution with the Casio calculator so guys this is it is our answer but let's check option d let's not based on assumption see if we um get a similar value so option d the same the only difference in this power we have two about three is of three over two so let's do the necessary adjustment so remove this one and put three there and go up and move this one and put two i see what they give us no so this is far away from the answer so guys the answer is option c this is the idea behind it hope you are learning something interesting now, if you're new to our channel, ensure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button now for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you're learning from this class. All right, guys. So, ensure you hit the subscribe button for instant notification whenever we release new videos. Very, very important. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve the second question. Ensure you stay with, with me to the end of this video because I will say some few things after this class okay so option two says evaluate the indefinite integral function in bracket 2x plus 5 raised to power 2 okay as usual we're going to simplify the equation we still work with the two is stored so it will see the effect we have 2x alpha x alpha x plus 5 plus 5 all right so the question here we bracket very, very important just represent the question as it is appearing don't omit anything so we have raised to power 2 so that's 2x plus 5 is exactly what we have there so 2x plus 5 is power 2 so the first equation is what you give us it's 1 so right now as usual you differentiate the options to get your answer so if you show the options they want to give us eight one okay so to do that you press shift this integral button so option a is there is in fraction so we put a bracket we have two x alpha x plus five okay raised to power three so we put a three here come down position the six all right so that's exactly what we have there so let's go back and put the two restored and see what you give us it's one so guys option a give us it's one so this is our answer this is our answer guys all right but let's see check out the option and see if we get something closer but we have only already known our answer but let's still verify and see if other option give us something closer so remove this and push for that's option B. No, it gave us something far. Let's check option C says no. So let's check option D and see what it will give us. So you move this guy and put six. So the difference is in the power. The power is the only difference for this guy. So you move this three and put four. So what it give you? No. So guys. The answer is option A, very, very simple. So, guys, this is basically how you can solve integration here. You substitute classic calculator. So, it's as simple as that. Let me recall what I said in the beginning of this video. The idea behind solving integration classic calculator is to firstly, you, is, you play a calculator to wipe out whatever previous value you might have computed the calculator. So, you do not interfere with the presence what you want to do. So, after it, you put a calculator with this mode very, very important then store to which i always recommend the store to 
your calculator the value you work with then you then simplify or evaluate the page and then differentiate the option why differentiating the option ensure that your brackets are balanced very important if your brackets are not balanced we end up having the wrong value okay let me show you the what i try mean by balancing your brackets as we have here now let me say we put another bracket here i see the brackets are not balanced if you press equal to you get syntax error are you seeing so there is a place of balancing the bracket very very important guys so ensure brackets are balanced that you end up not having syntax error okay so with this we are coming end of the class if you are new to our channel once more sure you subscribe to our channel for more for videos also like share and comment on this video how you feel what i meant in this class please don't have any specific question as feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and i will sure to give you a response that's it for this class guys thanks for watching this video also check out for our videos on how to solve differentiation with castle calculator check for the videos in our channel playlist under calculus you will see it and ensure you watch it to get that knowledge thanks for watching this video